copper retractor and tissue welding technology. Dear Chairman, dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving me the opportunity to um, talk uh, talking about the new re reusable retractor and, and the usage of tissue welding. So why don't we talk more about radial artery grafts? We all know that radial arteries are at least as good, but most of the times in most studies better than the venous veins. Um, just uh, recently published meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials showed that um, the usage of the venous veins is associated with a threefold increased risk of late functional graft occlusion compared to radial arteries. Um, now the question is how do we harvest our grafts? So the percentage of endoscopic vessel harvesting is raising since its introduction with over one million procedures being performed um, since beginning with over 75% of all vessel harvestings in the USA performed endoscopically. But all these facts are only true for the famous vein and for uh, the United States. It looks completely different when you look at radial arteries and, for example, Europe. Um, this is how it looks really, at least in most of the hospitals. So you have a really big incision and um, um, possibility of wound healing disturbances and a very pu poor aesthetic outcome. So one possible reason why we don't um, use more endoscopic rail artery harvesting are costs. So a complete disposable harvesting system costs approximately $1,000 to $1,500 per procedure, and most of the endoscopic harvesting systems are only optimized for vein harvesting. So this is a new I'm sorry, a new system here again using a reusable retractor like we've seen in the first presentation, but this one is quite narrow, approximately half the size of the Storz retractor, and here again using of thermal ligating shears. What we did is performing 20 ray artery harvestings using this retractor and the TLS2 shears. The harvesting time, postoperative bleeding, incision, and graft lengths were measured. What we could see is that all radial harvestings could be performed without a counter incision or conversion to the open technique. The incision length was really small with low postoperative bleeding, short ischemic time, and um, good graft lengths, no sensibility disturbances. So except of the incision length, which was really small, all our data were compar comparable to other reported data about um, other endoscopic radial artery harvesting devices. In conclusion, using the combination of a reusable and disposable device um, is safe. It reduces costs with very small skin incision and tunnel, and tissue trauma is reduced to a minimum of about one centimeter around the radial artery. And this more minimal invasive technique, like if you want to call it, does not affect harvesting time or graft length. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take a seat. Uh, 